this is my show Thrift to Vintage, where I take used, unloved, sometimes a little bit daggy, thrift store clothes and I transform them into beautiful vintage styled outfits. And today is the first quick fix edition. This is what I'm calling quick fix thrift to vintage edition because I have these three items behind me that whilst require some little bit of uh, sewing magic fairy dust to put on them they're not whole transformations they kind of just need a little bit of tweaking here or there to make them much better so come with me and let's take a little bit closer look at what we're actually starting with <laughs> As I said, I have these three items today. Let me first of all take you through quickly the three of them and what I think I'm going to do, then I'll do each one singularly. But if this is actually your first time here and we haven't met, uh, welcome, thank you for watching. My name is Evelyn Wood and I'm a dressmaker and sewing teacher and refashioning is one of the things I love to do so much because it is one of the most sustainable things that we can do in our fashion practices and in our sewing repertoire as well. And all of this with a vintage style twist, of course. So if it sounds like something that you're interested in and you haven't actually subscribed to my channel yet, consider hitting that subscribe button below because we do everything sewing, vintage and fashion here on this channel. Okay, quickly talk you through these. I have this lovely, lovely linen uh, circular skirt here that is way too teeny tiny for me at all like it doesn't even nearly fit this was on a recent thrift haul uh, video I'll put the link down below but this I need to make bigger so it actually fits me this gorgeous black pinafore I found recently again is a lovely soft linen it is just divine but it just needs a few different tweaks the sort of length where the waist is maybe the straps they keep falling down it's maybe a little bit big with these weird sort of side openings so I need a little bit of tweaking on this one and this cutesy white blouse is where we're going to start I love this it's a silk cotton top I bought it because it is so light and lovely and it is just a wonderful glorious summer fabric uh, feels very teens 19s Edwardian type vibes with this top I love the wide waistband on it, this really sheer light blouse really lends to that era. I love the little peplum, I feel it'll fit my wardrobe with that kind of a, a look into it. This one fits me well, it just needs a little something and that something is starting with these weird sleeves. Why do they do this? So it's got this like hook bunch up type thing, it is so weird. So the first thing I'll be doing is taking those off so it's just a button and a, a tie underneath and I'll take those off because I think it will be much better with the sleeves just uh, you know like a normal regular sleeve and I thought about changing the buttons on this but they're beautiful little covered buttons they're quite cute uh, the only thing I would change them for is maybe pearls but I kind of I like them like this the covered buttons are very vintage looking so I think I'll keep them the biggest thing that I really don't like is, uh, hang on, is this real visible stitching on the waistband here. It's just a dead giveaway that it's really modern and I think it just kind of ruins it. To start, I'm going to fix up these sleeves and have a look in my stash and see what I can find to maybe cover this or something. I recently uh, organized all my laces. Look how lovely this is. It's not that I don't like any of those laces. I think they could work really nice. But then I'd still have all this like visible stitching all around the um, button extension here and I just mm, on closer inspection I can actually see that the lines of stitching on the waistband here are actually just decorative so they're not functional stitches they're not holding the waistband on there so to say they're just there decorative or being undecorative in my opinion. I think I'm actually just going to unpick those and see where that leaves me. It's worth a shot. Oh, 
it took was a little steam and now this, those stitch marks are completely gone as opposed to down here. Look, that's where I haven't touched and you can still see all the little holes. So this lovely is finished. I really like it. It looks really good now that it's been pressed up as well. But I think this is all this one needed. It's just lovely and light and beautiful the way it is. Just removing that stitching just makes it a little bit softer and just feels a, a lot more authentic feeling to me anyway. And these sleeves <laughs> look so much better that they're not all bunched up like they were before. So, and then let's move right along to number two. This skirt, um, yeah more unpicking so I need to recut I'm going to take off this waistband and recut in a new line further down that will actually fit my waist and be bigger there's tons of length in this skirt fortunately so I uh, can get away with it being a little bit shorter in length that won't be a problem so as I said first up though is unpicking and uh, there's always unpicking refashioning is half unpicking right I should clarify that there are a lot of ins and outs with uh, making the like waistline bigger like this so I'm not making this as a tu tutorial, I'm not going over every step in detail or doing the math or anything, I'm going to leave that out because it will, there's, it will depend on so many things that depending on your skirt that you've got so I'm not going into that here. If it is something that you're interested in, let me know in the comments. more I'm picking. But the real dilemma is that this skirt actually has side seam pockets in it. Now they're going to disappear if I have to take away half of that waistband. So the real question is do I unpick all the pockets and re-put them in? Bear in mind this will be a side seam pocket with a side seam zip and that's not easy. Do I keep the pockets or do the quick way and leave them out? and doing a poll. Okay, we'll see what you all say. This is always the really hard bit because even though I've stay stitched the top of this I don't want to pull it too much and uh, it will get tighter when the waistband is on so it's always hard to know exactly what size to make it. What I'm going to do is actually work on making the waistband bigger to fit and then I can pin the, the skirt onto the waistband and then actually see how it all fits together much better. Ladies we have a problem this is the waistband that I need to extend so I need fabric from somewhere this is what I have cut off the uh, top of the waistband meanwhile it's on the bias and it's really not ideal it's kind of not really fitting here either no matter which way I put it it's just not working so you know what this piece is right yeah yep that's right it's the pocket sacrifices must be made it's the only way I'm going to get the waistband bigger sacrifice the pocket let's just let it be known right now that this was definitely not a quick fix I mean this is the story of sewing we all know this right everything always takes longer than you think it will but I think I've mislabeled this video as a quick fix because it has not been quick at all. The first one, not so bad. This one, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? So I went ahead and extended that waistband and put the zip back in. Now I'm just going to pin on the waistband back on, try it on, get the right size and just sew it back on. Pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. And you all know how I feel about putting your name into your garments, even the refashioned ones. It's just so special. 
I'm gonna put one of my special, this skirt style, appropriate for this one. If you haven't seen my video on the labels, I'll link it down below. And there's also a discount code there if you want to get your labels from the Dutch label shop. I highly recommend them. They are fabulous. <laughs> Perfection. I'm going to mark in where I need the button now. Save time later. Well, because this took like a hundred years already, uh, I will have to finish this up tomorrow, I think, because oh. I am getting harassed by this one that it is walkies time. Yeah. We are going for our afternoon walk and I'll probably come back tonight, maybe tomorrow, because I still have this black one over here to do as well. I only got two of them done in the afternoon. Okay. So yes, indeed, it is next day. Now I have uh, pretty much finished this one. I put that to the side for now. I just need a button to do. Do you know what never occurred to me for this skirt? I could do just one pocket on the side. I do have to do both sides and I still have one pocket left. So I could do one. I know it never occurred to me until you smart ladies uh, mentioned maybe just do one. Who would have thought? Anywho, uh, let's move on to this black one because you know this is a real quick and snappy uh, <laughs> quick fix, right? This is a super duper cute little pinafore. Uh, it's obviously meant to go over another top blouse underneath. Okay, here are my issues that I want to change up with this. These just fall straight down. So what I want to do is create a little like faux tie uh, across the back there that'll just sort of tie up, little cute, make it decorative. Uh, I do that quite a lot to sort of hold the straps up so that they stay nice and like up because I hate it when they fall down. I also, I think this would look cuter, a bit more like a dress closed up here in a deep V rather than it come right down to the waist. So I'm going to sort of just see what I can do about closing this up just that little bit, stitching those together up a little bit higher. I was thinking that uh, these underneath here, it kind of buttons in the center. So it's a tab on this side, a tab from that side and it buttons in the middle. Was thinking to close it up so it just buttons onto the dress. So it's just about half um, of this sort of opening. But I think I'm going to do this first and close up the back and do that first before I do the sides because I might make it too tight in the end. So once I do these, it pulls in. So I'll do those alterations first. Then this really weird modern fit, okay? So it has belt loops and the waist is here. I know this is like, you can hardly see this in black. So I'll do my best. The seam line for the waist on the, the back here, I'm following it with my fingers, is all the way up here, like here. My waist is here. Why is it kicking up? And the front is down here. It's really weird. So I would wear a belt with it. And now here's what I'm thinking. My waist is sort of down here a little bit. It's just, it's a little bit short waisted for me. Not much, but just a little bit. And it could do with a fraction more length as well. So what I was considering and thinking to do is to actually unpick the seam here and be between the bodice and the skirt actually put a, a, a waistband. Maybe use a grow grain ribbon or something like that that suits the fabric to actually then it will extend the waist and then sit on my waist. Then by default add a little bit of length as well. Unfortunately though, I have already been through my stash and found no grow grain ribbon or any such type thing at all. So luckily I planned ahead of time when I was out and I'm going to pick some up now. Yeah, this one is too thick. This one is a little softer, but let's, mm, yuck. This one feels like plastic. Can you hear that? Mm. What about this? Ah, oh, plastic. Ugh. Okay, on the plus, I did find velvet, uh, uh, the thick velvet in black. 
but I would not be surprised if this is like $10 a meter. So, L. Yeah, that's Okay, there's really not much choice here. I found uh, this uh, Clooney lace might work. Oh, I really don't know. I hate this. I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I wasn't sure whether that velvet was even going to be right for this. I just I hadn't tried this on for a while at that point when I was at the shop. So I didn't quite know and I couldn't pay... I'd have to do both sides because if I only uh, put it in between here and here it'd be really thin layer of just velvet with these thick pieces here it wouldn't work you'd have to do double layer ribbon to make it nice on the inside as well and on the outside and thick enough to be you know feel and look right I could spend twenty dollars on just a ribbon that's outrageous and I'm really glad because I'm putting this back on and you know what I don't think it's that bad once I ugh, even out that weird fit, it sits a little bit high, but not too high. And the length is like, it's short, but uh, sometimes I remember I have wanted in summer a shorter skirt that's kind of on uh, the knee rather than below the knee. So I'm just going to go with it. I'll make these changes first and then I'll put it back on with a belt. And then I think I'll decide if I want to lengthen it because I can always do that later, right? So I just laid this uh, flat and just so I know that this is not me and it is the weird fit of the garment, uh, it's flat at the sh shoulder seams here and then when I look down here, the, the front of the waist is here, the back waistline is up here. That's how much different it sits. So good, it's not just my, it's not my body, it's the garment. Anyway, take a closer look at this. So this is the centre front that I wanted to close up a little bit more. They already have actually just zigzagged the two pieces together. So I'm just going to continue the same thing. Raise it up and I'm just going to do the zigzag stitch just like they have already. My stitching looks way better than the stitching that they had there before. So I'm just going to go over the top of that previous stitching so it all blends in and looks nice. Should have done that to start with, now that I think about it. For the tie at the back, I have this lovely little uh, one centimeter uh, black velvet ribbon that I'm actually going to just sew together. So I've got ribbon on both sides and then just use that as a tie each side and it can just tie in and hang as a nice little decorative feature. I think the velvet being a contrast texture is what's needed to blend all this in nicely. So, looking good. Let's pretend like I have a belt. One of the big tips I have for you in refashioning is if you've got little things with the fit along the way, don't do everything at once. Just do one little thing and then see how it fits because since I've closed up this and uh, have the straps at the back, it's like, it's really nice and fitted. I don't know that I need to, to change anything else. So always just do one at a time and check because often you'll find that one little thing might fix up the other fit issue that you had. With the belt, I think these then do kind of stick out a little bit because the belt cinches it in, it then just kind of hangs out. So I'm just going to kind of move that in a little bit. I still want it to be open with that V, uh, but I'm going to move it in a little bit because I feel like they are a bit dangly. Want to see what these look like all styled up? Yeah, me too. <laughs> all right, let's have a look. And then uh, once I've worn this, I'll be able to tell you what I might do differently next time. And I kind of just uh, like to finish the alterations here and not do too much with the waist because you know, I don't want to lie to you and say this isn't a quick fix because without doing all that waistband adjustment, it has been a quick fix. So I do like that and have enjoyed this one moving much faster than the orange one that I'm still going to probably have to put the pocket in because every time I look at it, all I'll think is that, <sighs> yeah, wish it had a pocket, even just one.
first thing to address is there is no such thing as a quick fixing sewing. Or I shouldn't say that, maybe that uh, however long you think it's going to take, double it. And that's about maybe how long it will take. Rule of thumb. I know you can all relate to this. It's one of the rules of sewing, I think. I think I should do a video on that. The random rules of sewing that only sewers can relate to. So what would I do differently next time? One of the big things was on this orange skirt. It wasn't until that I got to the end that I realized I actually had to extend it this much. That's how much I've added in. I didn't think it would be quite that much. You know, I thought I'd have a seam around the side here. It was going to be on the back, so I wasn't too worried. But after I finished, it's so close to being on the center. The seam is here. It just looks a little odd. Had I known it was going to be that much, I would have made it just a little bit bigger so I had a seam down the back so it looked a bit more uniform. But I didn't realize that until it was all finished and let's be honest, it's staying like this. I do also need a hook and eye to uh, hold down because I do have a bit of an extra long sort of extension underneath to hold that in place and stop it uh, moving up. Pinafore and the shirt are perfect. I like them as they are. The shirt didn't really need much. I'm just in love with these sleeves. This all-in-one is just, I love it. I love how you get this like draping through here like this. I love the way it sits. I think that silk cotton is my new favorite fabric. I love it. This pinafore is going to get so much used to. I'm, I think it's uh, the shorter length. I think is great for summer. As always, let me know your comments down below, which one you like the most, what you might have done differently to suit your taste. And I hope you enjoyed this sort of quick fix edition, even though it wasn't so quick. Well, this one, I always kind of knew it wouldn't. Oh, and of course, uh, the pocket. <laughs> this is a very good idea to just have one. You guys are so clever, so clever. I'm thinking I'll do a bigger transformation next time, but let me know what you like to see, of course, as always. Thank you so very much for watching. Like this video if you liked it, and if you haven't actually subscribed to this channel yet, have a check because sometimes it tricks you. Uh, hit the subscribe button because you'll get notified of all the different videos we do. I do everything on sewing, vintage, and fashion around here, so if it's the kind of thing that you're into, that's what we do. So please subscribe, and if you know someone else who would love to see this video, share it with them. I would be so grateful. Until next time, bye. Actually, I should have shown you what it looks like now that I think about it. Too late. Sorry.